Welcome to Partic Virtual Talks on Processing of Fragile Bulk Material. Georg Stein from Georg Stein Process Equipment will talk about handling of sensitive bulk products before and after production processes. Have fun and enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and uh, Dobredin to our partners and friends in Russia and Belarus. My name is Georg Stein. I am the head of Georg Stein Process Equipment. We are an engineering office in the range of silo plant processing and uh, we develop individual technical solutions for the food industry. Today, I want to tell you something about the handling of sensitive bulk products before and after production processes. This is a uh, huge and complex and multifaceted theme. So I want to try you to show you a basic short overview about the available and our available opportunities. The first question basically should be whatever some uh, are sensitive or fragile products. Here we have some samples like dry carrots, orange pieces, dried tomatoes, dried peas, spring onions will be used in, uh, in soups and so on. And then we got some dill or oregano or other herbs to use it to produce meat spice mixtures. Here for typical ready-made products, for example, are baby food, spice mixtures, muesli, muesli bars, dry soups, instant soups, sauces and dips, instant tea and coffee, and tea at itself. So today, my favorite is this uh, spicy yummy soup. I think it's one of my, my favorites if I am traveling or in the office, then it's very quick and very, very tasty. Uh, let, me, let me show you on this product how we can, we can make some very spicy and, and yummy uh, soup product. Therefore, first to prepare the taste, we need a mixer. About the mixer, we heard a lot of from uh, that guy before me. And, um, and now the mixer, the, 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 the mixture mostly uh, consists of, of salt, sugar, starch, MSG, plus secret and individual spice mixtures invented by the producer, plus these franchise products like peas, spring onions, dry carrots, herbs, and so on. To, to, pre to prepare this, then it's, it, it's a very individual what, um, what um, final product we need, we want to, to produce. To feed the products to this mixer, we have some uh, different opportunities. First would be a pneumatic feeding system for uncomplicated products. Another one would be mechanical feeding into the mixer. Then we have the feeding via container feeding. And last but not least, manual feeding directly in the mixer. The, all this, this, um, this um, process, all this, this conveying processes have her own advantages and disadvantages. Here we have the pneumatic conveying system. Uh, we have overpressure systems, vacuum systems, and interval conveying. The advantages of, by an overpressure system are we get high, high conveying capacities and long conveying distances. The disadvantages of sensitive products can be destroyed. Higher temperatures can merge the product. Vacuum system has the advantages that we get the safe transport of for toxic or medical products. And we have uh, very constant conveying temperatures while the, while the conveying process. Disadvantages is limited conveying pressure range, just one bar absolute and all the um, equipment around needs to be vacuum resistant. Interval conveying is an, as well in a uh, pneumatic conveying system. The advantages are the gentle transport of sensitive products because 
because it's a slow tra transport system. And the disadvantages because of this, we have low conveying capacities because it's slow. Mechanical conveying systems consist of conveying screws, chain conveyors, and vibrating conveying. Conveying screws and chain conveyors, conveyors have nearly the same advantages, high conveying capacities and very robust systems. The disadvantages for the conveying screws is uh, sensitive products can be destroyed and we have just short conveying distances. What, what are possible to, to, to implement? The advantages of a chain conveyor, we have high conveying con uh, con capacities on long distances and robust systems as already talked. And the disadvantages, we need a double spice. We have one way to the mixer and the, 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 the empty way back and it's not very hygienic. Vibration conveying, we have a gentle transport opportunity for sensitive products. The disadvantages, we have short conveying distances. Last but not least is the gravity feeding, the mean consisting of direct manual feeding and container handling or big bag handling. The advantages by direct manual feeding is uh, they are cost effective because it goes directly from the back into the mixer and it's hygienic because of the short ways. The disadvantages uh, are while feeding the products in the, in the process, we have not the opportunity to make the real production and the uh, packet raw materials have to be hygienic prepared before they come in the production room. Container handling advantages are high flexible if many materials have to be handled, hygienic and very gentle processing for sensitive products. The disadvantages is uh, you need a storage room to, to, to store these containers and um, they have to be, they has to be operated by flame conveyors while the, by the product, in, in the production rooms. So now the question, how to bring the product in quick, safe, and according uh, way to the required process. And this according to the, the recipes that we want to have. Um, in the last years, very large number of, of, of producers changed from uh, conventional feeding systems like uh, pneumatic conveying systems and mechanical feeders to the, uh, to the container handling, it means gravity feeding. Um, container handling and big bag handling, let me say. We, we favorite, our favorite is, uh, is, this, is the container handling. Why? Containers are extreme flexible to use different types for uh, intern surfaces like PTFE coating. They are maximum hygienic and uh, in production cap capacity extension is possible without big invests. We have the opportunity to use the containers as uh, store hoppers to, to plan a smart production. So I prepared this process for a fictive production line to produce seasoning powders for these soups. Here we have again the big bags with the main components. In that case, MSG, salt, sugar, and maltodextrin, basically not so, uh, not so complicated products. Ex expect ex expect uh, maltodextrin because maltodextrin is um, high explosive and we need to, to look for special solutions to handle this stuff. We have a container that is placed on a platform scale and feed it via, for example, in that case, conveying screws. The platform scale is controlled by a an, uh, an, uh, rating software and the hardware of the system, like the, the, the screws are controlled by a PLC. If this step is done, the container will be brought via 
um, forklifts or, or uh, pallet jacks to the second step. Here we have the automatic uh, preparation from small and medium ingredients via, via dosing screws and vibrating feeders for trade products, as well the manual, uh, the manual preparation for small ingredients and micro ingredients like flavors, vitamins, and uh, liquids. If all this is done, we can bring the container up to the production room and lift it up to the mixer, and discharge it, and start the mixing process. Yes, to say, this step is not so easy. Because if we have to, to, to add some fragile products, we cannot start to add them with the first step and that they stay in the mixer the whole, the whole mixing time. These fragile products need to be added uh, later in the last time of the mixing process. It depends on the, pro on, on the products, what they are, and and how long they can stay in the mixing process because uh, before they, they are destroyed. This is a special know-how more from the mixer suppliers and, and uh, mostly from the, from the customers. Um, the mixer can be, after the mixing process, can be uh, discharged, for example, in big bag, and uh, then to use it uh, for further steps in the process. All this needs to be controlled by a central control cabinet uh, equipped with a PLC according to international industry standards. And yes, here should be another photo that is gone. And user-friendly operation devices means that uh, on the operation points, the user has a uh, software where he can recognize his, his work steps, step for step, step and step for step. And uh, he will be he, yeah, he, will, he will see then when his work is done and he can remove the container to the next step. All this should be equipped with an uh, individual software with individual data management for every, you to, every uh, product to use in combination with uh, batch controls and statistics for the purchasing department. Discharging. Um, what should I say? Discharging is. Uh, oh, sorry, was too fast. So, is uh, the first principle by discharging is that we get no demixing while the further transport somewhere. That we can uh, we can guarantee when if we use big bags or even the same containers we use to, to, um, to feed the container to the, the mixers. Big bag, clear, cheap, universal to move everywhere, in-house, out, outside of house, to bring it to foreign factories or to customers. Containers are mostly uh, used for in-house, for in-house handling. They are nearly dust-free, long-lasting, hygienic system, and you can use it for in-house, in in-house, for example, to feed and packing line. Differences, they are uh, comparable to the, to the big bags, a little bit more expensive, but they are, because of the long, lease, long, long lasting, uh, uh, long lasting time, you can use it. I would prefer this solution in the food industry. So this was it for my time. Thank you very much for your interest and stay healthy.